mysterious black goo, specialist whales, and better solar panels. This is five science stories for you in three minutes or less. No time to waste, let's get started. A research vessel started oozing mysterious black goo out of the rudder shaft, and those crazy scientists decided to test it. Turns out there's a ton of life in that there goo. It's full of microbes that were living in an oxygen-free, sealed environment. That suggests there's a complex food web going on in there to sustain that microscopic ecosystem. We don't know where it came from, and we haven't even seen some of these microbes. So right now there's more questions than answers. But the team is working on publishing a paper with more detailed findings. Green spaces in cities improve the mental health of residents. A rigorous review of 78 global studies finds that nature exposure has a significant beneficial effect on key mental health outcomes. Urban forests parks and rivers are all beneficial, but even simple things like street trees or pocket parks can improve people's access to nature. This study finds that spending time in any of these environments reduces stress, anxiety, and fatigue while feeling invigorating and restorative. The team is hoping to integrate these findings into a tool for urban planners. The tool will be able to empirically show how adding green spaces to a specific area will improve mental health and even reduce healthcare costs. What if solar panels were better? You're not gonna believe this. Scientists have made solar panels better. By using cheap silicone lenses to focus light onto a smaller solar panel module, they were able to achieve about 35% efficiency, which is about 50% better than current models. With a smaller unit, the design uses 1,000th the expensive semiconductor materials required by standard panels. The main challenge with the design is that it was tested with a mechanism to track the sun, which would add some cost and complexity in real-world deployments. The design is still promising since it uses readily available manufacturing techniques and didn't lose efficiency over the course of a year. Whales are probably better at fishing than you, but to be fair, you don't know their pro strats. Fortunately, this new paper can teach you. Wow! Scientists captured solid data of orcas in Norway working in teams to hunt. Individuals in a pod seem to specialize into one of two roles, helpers or strikers. Two whales will approach a school of herrings in a particular configuration, and then the striker will slap with their tail, stunning the fish. This technique is roughly four times as effective as hunting alone. We've suspected that orcas might specialize into specific roles, but this paper offers solid evidence of that and a detailed description of orca hunting techniques. And finally, starting tomorrow, August 10th, six planets will be lined up in the night sky with four of them being visible to the naked eye. Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune will all be visible in the night sky, although you'll need a telescope to see Uranus and Neptune. The best days to view this will be the week of August 17th, leaning towards the end of the week, and it'll be over by the end of the month. That's all for now. You can support me on Patreon and Ko-Fi, and subscribe for more next week.